Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Young again with Educational Technology at Oklahoma Baptist and today I want to help you make your Zimbra briefcase a little more useful by making it easier to store stuff in it and share that stuff and to share other people's stuff uh, in their Zimbra briefcases if they choose to share it with you. So uh, the technical term for this is WebDAV. WebDAV is a web-based file sharing standard that allows file management online like uh, the popular Dropbox.com or Google Docs applications. So Zimbra is WebDAV compliant so we can map a drive to our Zimbra briefcase folder and use it as if it was a local folder on our local computer. For instance, you could, uh, if maybe you had a course where you as a professor needed to share some files uh, with your students and you could just uh, take a file and drag it and drop it into your briefcase and uh, share that briefcase with your students. And the students can do the same thing. They can go, um, uh, let's uh, copy that file. So they could uh, do it in the other direction. They can share a folder in their Zimbra briefcase with uh, the teacher and the teacher can then map a drive to that and access it uh, if they need to. So um, first let's uh, do a little mapping of our drives in Zimbra to a folder in our briefcase. Uh, so I want to uh, click on start first of all and then go to computer and uh, then you uh, want to map a network drive. Now there's a particular um, uh, folder name URL that you have to put in here. It's a web address and I've got a, uh, a notepad with it in here I want to talk about a little bit before we start. This first part of the address that um, you probably recognize, that's how you get to your email, to your Zimbra uh, email on, uh, at OBU. The next section is DAV. It tells you that we want to use WebDAV uh, to connect. And then it gives my full email address. That's my username. So you would substitute your own username in that. Uh, and then the briefcase. And then the subfolder inside the briefcase that I want to connect to. You don't have to connect to a subfolder. You can connect directly to the briefcase. But you can uh, do individual folders inside. So I'm going to uh, copy that whole URL and then come back to my uh, uh, Map and Network Drive um, dialog box and paste that whole URL inside the folder. Now I'll make sure connect at logon is uh, checked and I'm going to click finish and now it's going to attempt to connect and you may get a pop-up that asks you for your username password. Um, go ahead and put in your uh, full email address as your username. Uh, and your password that you use to connect to email, the same password you use to get on Novell. Um, and uh, it's not asking me for my password because I've already put it in. And, and then when you ask for uh, credentials, it'll say something like, uh, um, remember credentials. You want to check the box that, that asks you to remember credentials and you don't have to put that in anymore. Okay. So we've mapped a network drive. So now say uh, as a teacher I want to share a large folder of documents with my students. Uh, I've got this textbook resources file. It's got a PDF in it and a couple of PowerPoints. Um, I just take that textbook resources file and I drag it over to that new uh, 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 WebDAV uh, briefcase mapped drive that I just created and I drop it on there and it uh, copies the files. Now it's going to take a little while longer even though it looks like we're doing this locally on our uh, laptop it's actually saving those files out on the web so it's out in the cloud out online so it takes a little bit longer than you might uh, expect that, that you're used to and so just be patient with that. I need to mention that uh, this also works on the Mac side, but it's called something different on the in the Mac OS. As uh, on Windows side, you call it uh, mapping a network drive, but on the Mac side, it's called connecting to a server. So in order to do that, on the Mac side, you go to Finder, and then up in the menu at the top, click Go, and then Connect to Server and then you paste that uh, URL that we just talked about directly into uh, the box and click connect and it will connect 
to the server on the Mac side and you get the same functionality as you do on the Windows side. Uh, notice on this the folders and files that we've been copying don't have spaces in them or uh, unusual characters like ampersands or asterisks. Um, you want to avoid those. You want to avoid spaces and characters except for underscores um, in your file names and folder names. Just uh, kind of trust me on that because it makes things a little complicated uh, because anytime it, use, it sees a, a character it, it, it replaces that with a escaped character and it looks funny and it's just confusing so just avoid spaces and characters in your file names and folder names in this process. Okay, so let's take a look in our briefcase folder and see, yeah, there's our textbook resources uh, folder and it's got all our, it's got our PowerPoints in it and our PDF. So um, we just successfully mapped a network drive and copied some files into it and it showed up in our Zimber briefcase, just like we expected it to. Now, let's do it the other direction. Say we're, uh, as if we're a student, uh, I'm going to log off and uh, log back on as a uh, a test student here, my John Public student, and uh, I'm going to go to my briefcase as a student and say I want to share this uh, this folder here in this in my test folder. I'm going to right click on that and click share folder. And uh, I'll actually I need to expand my window here so you can see the whole thing. Give me just a sec here. Okay, so right click and share folder and give myself a little bit more room here. Now you can see the share properties window and notice that I'm uh, sharing this folder and I want to share it with uh, my teacher. So I type in the email address here and uh, I click on that and I can give this uh, person that I'm sharing with different roles. I can allow them to add, edit, and remove stuff. We probably don't want to do that. We just want them to view. Uh, so we'll leave it as a viewer. Notice that it's going to send a message to the student or to the person that we're sharing with uh, in, in an email address. It also gives the URL to access that item um, if you want to share that with somebody. So go ahead and click OK. And now let's go back to um, to uh, the teacher's email and check that out, see what happened. I should have received an email, yep, from John Public. There's a share been created. And it says, that it gives some details about that share. And uh, you get, this is very important here, the accept share button. It's not good enough to just share something with somebody or even uh, for that person to receive the email. They actually have to click the green button to accept the share in order to see it. So uh, have, they need to click that green button to accept the share. And they can give the folder a different color if they want to. Uh, click yes. And now if I go into my briefcase, I should see a pretty little pink folder shared by John Public. And it's got all the documents in it. OK. All right, so um, one more thing that's handy about this is I can use that shared folder. So I've got this this web design course folder, and it's got a bunch of folders, a bunch of documents in it. Um, I can use that uh, with applications as if it was a local hard drive. So I could say open Excel or uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, uh, so I'm going to try this with Excel. I'm going to open up the Excel spreadsheet and uh, do File, Open. And I should be able to see all of my uh, shared folders down here. So I've got, here's my web design course, my briefcase. So I can click on that. And remember, it takes a little bit longer. When you click on that, it looks like nothing's happening. But it's really, uh, it's going through the internet connecting and enumerating all those folders and files. So it takes a, a second to actually pop up. But once it does, I should see all those files and folders inside um, that briefcase folder. And I can open them uh, just like I would uh, as if they were on my local hard drive. So I would 
select the file and then click open and that's how you uh, share your briefcase folders and how you map network drives to them so you can make them a little more useful and uh, a little more easier to work with.